Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. I'm here today at Spartan Forge with Chad Wiley, mm -hmm. the CEO of Palmetto State Armory. Well, it's something I see with other companies. You mentioned engineers. Yep. And uh, that's another place that we went uh, when we were in the Columbia area mm -hmm. touring facilities is we stopped in and talked to the engineers. And a lot of gun companies, I've been doing this long enough to realize that you have gun companies that have gun people. Yep. And they get ideas and they make stuff and it works, right? Sure. And then you have people who get those ideas from the gun people and give them to an engineer to execute in a way that's gonna perform more reliably. Yep. And I really see that difference in, in a lot of the companies that, that we talk to, many of them, honestly, many of the gun guy companies who don't have the engineers, sure. who don't have that really design ethic of, we're not just gonna file on something until it works That's and right. then produce it, but actually have, you know, real engineering study and things. Done. Sure, I mean, and, and I, I appreciate that. And I, I, it's another, another bit of evidence that I've seen that's helping convince me that the PSA reputation, if you need a cheap gun, go to PSA. Right. Um, you're able to deliver a better price for the same thing because you own the production. That's right. And, and I see a lot of evidence that the quality is it's already better than it was. Sure. And is the, the, the what am I trying to say? I'm gonna have to edit this. <laughs> um, the systems are in place right. to continue marching forward right. on it's, quality. It's constantly evolving too. We, we, we have it, the whole company, since I started you know, about two years ago, um, if you look at it, it's, it's not just about the part, right? The part's the biggest piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. But the things that I don't, I don't think we always had a chance, it wasn't that, nobody was looking at it. I think they didn't have the chance or the opportunity because we were selling, I mean, we probably outsold uppers by every other manufacturer in the country this right. year. Um, you just didn't have a chance to focus on customer service, your, your shipping. People would always talk about sh slow shipping and the issues yeah. that come with that. But you got to look at how fast we'd grown and, and what was being pumped through those systems right. to get that product to the consumer. And we weren't trying to slow down or, or be annoying you know, to the consumer or whatnot. It's just the sales volume was so high, we didn't always anticipate it. Yeah. So for the last year and a half or two, and that's when you see me on Facebook, when yeah. they say slow shipping, yeah. I'll usually come back with well, when was the last time you ordered? <laughs> and uh, it's typically within a year or two ago and they got angry and I'll send them a coupon code and get them back. It's, it's not all about the part. Yeah. You know, we're trying to increase customer service. We're about 96.7% the last I checked on customer call ratio. Um, okay. We're within yeah. two days in most cases. now. Granted, if there's ever a spike or there's something real popular going on or yep. something that happens that increases sales, we do see a little bit of a hit. Mm -hmm. But this whole year, we pretty much maintain an over 95% call volume ratio on the help desk. And then our shipping's been within this 24 to 48 hours, you know, with the exception of some of the custom lowers like we've done right. and, and things like that. We took a, a step back and looked at all aspects of the company. It, it wasn't just about the parts. It wasn't just about the product. Sure, that drives sales, but if you put a gun in a man's hand and it does have issues for whatever reason and you can't respond to it or it takes you five to seven days to get it, right. you, if it takes five to seven days to get it, you automatically, the relationship's tarnished at that point. So right. then if they have an issue with it, it gets even worse if you can't get in touch with customer service. So we really, my whole job, you know, they call me a CEO or whatever. Um, I've got all the aspects of the customer relation and when I took over that role, Jamin said, I want you to make it fun. I want you to focus on the customers, make sure the consumers get what they want and just engage with them because that's something he hasn't had a chance to do. He's buying companies, he's building guns, he's building right. this brand awareness. And um, we just didn't have a chance to focus on the consumer yep. side of it. So I wanted to point that out, you know, that, cause that's another part, you say cheap, then you get slow shipping, then you get bad customer service. I, I just want to make sure that when you have those experiences, you see those comments if it's something recent i'm here you know we'll, yeah. we'll take care of it it's not just about the products and the the, the quality of the product it, that's the ultimate goal but you also got to be able to support that product and get it to the consumer in, a, in right. a nice timely fashion which is a lot of what we worked on as a company as a whole this year and you have a pretty robust warranty right american made for life i base warranty issues on on um 
how the consumer reacts when they call sometimes. You know, we, it's, a, it's absolutely something that we will replace if it's on us, if it's a problem. Um, but, you know, if, if you change a gas tube and something happens or whatnot, if you, you call in and you're just honest with me or honest with my team or whatnot, we'll go out of our way to help you. I mean, at the end of the day, AR-15 is like a Lego. It's a Lego set, right? For, oh, yeah. for, it's a toy for kids, you know, us, us grown kids, you know, to play yeah, around yeah. And, and put together and put parts on and, and yeah. really enjoy that experience and go out to the range and have a good time. And um, we want to be able to make sure that we give you that experience. Excellent. You mentioned Legos. Yes. You told me about something we we're standing over here earlier yep. that was kind of exciting. New product line coming. Yeah, so we're introducing um, the Palmetto State Armory Custom Series, which is something that I've wanted to do since I started. The mil spec drives the market. The mil yeah. spec AR-15, front sight post A2, you know, that's what people want. But when they get them, they also want to accessorize them. Right. For the last ye several years, we've relied on other people's accessories. We've came right. out. So what I'm working with now is our own accessories. So we'll have ambidextrous safeties, extended mag releases, um, both on the 9 and the 15 and 308, extended bolt catches, titanium right. firing pins, lightweight mm -hmm. bolts. I could go on and on, but yeah. that's something that um, it'll come out around Black Friday. You'll see the first All right. rendition retail packaging. Um, we're going to do the top 12 accessories that are on the market, QD nice. latch plates, that kind of thing. Um, they'll come out, they'll be available, they're going to be very price competitive, great quality. Most of the parts were hand-picked. Some of them's your standard, you know, 750 adjustable gas blocks and that kind right. of thing. But from um, like the ambidextrous safety, we got four or five different variants of it and tested it and put it in competition guns right. and kind of looked at and to see what, what does consumers actually want. Right. I think it'll be very positive for everybody. You know, I'd Excellent. like to get you a set and get your, yeah, your feedback on it. And then a part of that custom series as well, I mentioned the Corvette, Corvette if you will. Yeah. Um, we are working towards releasing a, high, a couple high-end model guns along with a LE specific gun. We do get a lot of requests. I know there's some misconception about that online. We do have a lot of law enforcement customers, right. believe it or not. Um, a lot of nine millimeter sub guns are going in police officers' trunks and whatnot. Hmm. So it's enough to the point to where it warranted a discussion with myself and our dealer sales representative yeah. to make a more robust platform for our police officers, our guys in blue nice. that's out there protecting us every night. Um, if they come to us, a lot of smaller departments who have tighter budgets or whatnot, they're coming to us and saying, hey, you know, let's, let's, let's work on a platform um, that, that'll work for us. So we're actually gonna release that. I don't know how much of that'll translate over into the civilian world other than the fact that we're gonna release some higher end competition grade at right. least a PCC and AR-15 at first okay. um, with the concept of potentially a PRS gun in the future. So it's really exciting. I get to do the uh, stuff that's not traditional <laughs> PSA, you know, your, yeah, your mil spec yeah, type yeah. guns, and I'm just having fun with it, you know, yeah. getting out. And I sh I'm at a range typically uh, three weekends a month nice. and, and competing with people and whatnot, and they'll come up to me and they're like, hey, do you work for PSA? And I'm <laughs> What is it? You know, what, what do you got going on? And it's usually an idea, to believe it or not. Yes. Why don't you guys carry this? Or what about that? Or can you change this? And I'm a loyal PSA customer. Can I get an optic? Which we talk about that later. So there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that um, that I think is going to be really good for our customers in the long run. And we'll use the same offering that we do with AR-15 in that line as well. We'll take it directly from the manufacturer to the consumer, no middleman, and, and we'll go from there, and I think everybody will be happy with it. You mentioned Class 3 stuff for law enforcement. Um, you see PSA moving into the silencer market, for example? I don't think right now. The silencer market, um, and we actually have talked about this several times, it's, it's dying off a little bit. Yeah. I think with the NFA, the, the, the Hearing Protection Act, and yeah. HPA it's, that was coming it's on. It's the government trying to kill an industry. Stifling innovation. Right. I think we were waiting on a bill to pass that I don't feel like the administration wanted to take on at one time. Right. And the timing now is taking a little bit longer than, than we had expected. So I don't know that it's died off completely. I just know from our sales perspective, it over the last two years has kind of yeah. dropped off. And we would rather take our focus, the any type of investment on this. Right than a market that may be, you know. More mainstream kind of stuff, Yeah, right? I mean, we want to be More able to provide market. the best yep. cost to a customer. And, and that, there's a lot of great silencer companies out there, suppressor mm -hmm. companies that we deal with and we could have a contract with yep. maybe, but as far as us producing one, I don't see it in the near future. If I want to buy one, I can go to your website and buy one, right? They're not on the website. We have them in the store. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing them on the website. I knew I'd seen them in the store. Yeah, they are on the yep. store. It's, it's easier from the perspective of how you have to handle the tax stamp. Yeah, understood. And, 
the, the royalties that go to the king and that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. It's easier to do that in store than it is on the website. Good. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Absolutely, Thank man. you for the time Absolutely. today. Thanks for uh, sharing with us all the different details. And uh, some cool stuff coming out. Yeah, Absolutely. Some really Absolutely. cool. Oh, really there good we go again. Coming. Dang it. <laughs> I'm so predictable. I let, okay. I let a little something out that I didn't know I was going to tell you about. But, yeah, yeah. there's some cool things coming. All right. Well, um, thanks. We'll catch up with you soon. We're going to get some more of these reviews out to you for PSA products.